Colorado's natural resources are an important part of the state's identity. Whether it's our abundant sunshine, beautiful mountains, or land rich with soil for growing crops, we work hard to make sure those resources are protected and conserved. Oil, natural gas, and other fossil fuels are also important natural resources for Colorado. One way states protect these and other types of resources is by levying a severance tax. A severance tax is a tax on the production or extraction of non-renewable natural resources. The tax lets Colorado recapture some of the value lost when resources are extracted and helps offset impacts to communities where this type of development occurs. In Colorado, 95% of severance tax collections come from oil and natural gas production. How is severance tax calculated? Each state differs in how they impose severance taxes on oil and gas production. Colorado taxes the value of the resource when it comes out of the well, also called the wellhead value. Colorado uses the wellhead value as the base for all taxes applied to oil and gas production in the state, including property tax, corporate income tax, and severance tax. Colorado's oil and gas severance tax rate is between 2 and 5 percent on a graduated scale. Complicating matters are laws allowing producers to deduct costs for transportation, manufacturing, and processing. Producers are also allowed to claim a property tax credit, also called the ad valorem credit, because oil and gas property is assessed at a rate of 87.5%. That means oil and gas producers are able to deduct 87.5% of their property tax bill from their state severance tax bill. Without this credit, in 2016, state severance tax collections would have been four times higher. Finally, Colorado exempts low-producing wells from severance tax. Since 2008, between 12 and 23 percent of production was exempt from severance tax. So where do we rank in severance tax on oil and gas compared to neighboring states? Colorado ranked last among western states in severance tax rates at 0.6 percent after adding in all the deductions, exemptions, and credits in 2016. Producers in Montana paid the most at 10.5 percent, Wyoming producers paid 5%, and Texas, which has the most oil and gas production in the country, paid 3.9%. What does severance tax money pay for? Revenue collected from Colorado severance tax are divided into two parts. About half goes to funding the Department of Local Affairs, DOLA, and the other half goes towards funding the Department of Natural Resources, DNR. About 30% of severance taxes used to fund DOLA go back to communities directly impacted by development and the remaining 70% is distributed through grants. DNR used severance tax dollars for a variety of programs like forest health and wildfire mitigation, water infrastructure and supply projects, utility bill assistance through the LEAP program, endangered species protection, and regulation of the industry. While severance tax provides millions of dollars in revenue, especially for local governments, it can be a volatile source of funding for public investments. That's because oil and gas operations are closely tied to the boom and bust global market cycle. When global market factors push the price and production of these resources down, severance taxes fall. The complex severance tax structure also adds to the volatility, with producers paying almost no severance tax in some years, followed by extremely high severance tax in other years. This volatility can lead to funding inadequacies for important programs. This video was brought to you by the Colorado Fiscal Institute.